Okay, I'll reload it. Big Dappuccino here. This is going to be show and tell 194. The week, well, actually two weeks ago, started off kind of slow. I didn't think I would be able to do a haul. So I had a whole lot of stuff going on. Work was crazy. Work in D Washington, D.C., I live in Alexandria, Virginia. So even getting to work and coming back, it's been hectic. Usually on my days off, I've been dealing with some medical appointments, usually. And Saturday, I don't know, I, I've been using that the errands and running around. Sometimes diecasts just don't fit into the schedule. But I had a couple of days off this past week. So I was able to hit one of my favorite uh, shopping centers. And we'll get to that in a minute because first I got a haul from Harris Teeter and I was surprised by what I picked up there. I think I was going there to get a haircut. I think so, a haircut. And I popped in there to get something, I think just some little stuff I needed to pick up. Some toiletries, what I have, you know. Um... Well, they had a deal. I think it was two for three dollars. So I picked up the '76 Greenwood Corvette that I don't have. This is from HW Modified. So I haven't picked up one of these in a while, but I, I for a while it's a cool cast, and I learned a lot about the Greenwood Corvette. Is not what it appears to be. I come to find out. So you'll see, I'll talk more about that in all this ends. So I'm probably just going to put this into my bag since I showed it. We need to free up some space. And next, I from that same Harris Teeter hole, got a Ford Performance Super Van for the car. Kind of beat up HW Green Speed. At first, I'm going to leave it, but I think it was the best one. The tail lights is done on this, but the the headlights isn't. I like the livery. It's kind of kind of nice. And it's a new casting for 2024. So I decided to pick it up. But this is what I found that made me stop in that aisle. Well, actually, I think I had left and I seen this on the side in another display. So on my way to uh checking out so it was kind of strange that they had the fire packs in a different place than the usual die cast section so i picked up this uh mbx japanese japan uh cruisers and it seems like a pretty cool fire pack it's got a 71 skyline 2000 gtx Kind of disappointed because they didn't do the headlights and tail lights they like they did in the past, but this attracted me because I didn't. I seen that pink uh Honda uh Civic Type R, and I think I only have one of these, and it's well detailed. That color pops. Um, got a Subaru Impreza. I don't know if it's a WRX STI, but it's like a 2004, it looks like. 2004, 2005. Year model. Headlights is done, taillights not done. Uh, next, we got this Mazda 3 2019. Yeah, it's okay. Hatchback. Headlights and tail lights done, but yeah. And then we got this uh Toyota 4 runner, which I'm kind of disappointed because they they didn't do the headlights or the tail lights, but it looked like a great cast. Now. So I heard there was a, a collector's, I think I did research as a collector's uh version, and I, I'm sorry I didn't see that one on the pegs, I think that came out maybe. Last year, so we'll hold on to that. Put 
understand what I'm saying. Next uh, was my hunt at the uh, shopping center I like to go to a few days later. Even one of my favorite Chinese buffets afterwards. But um, I hit uh, Auto World, I mean not Auto World, Auto Zone first to see if they had any exclusives. They didn't. They had something I already had, Knight Rider, the kit. Uh, replica entertainment one I already had that one I uh, wish that I would have found car I've been looking for car forever the black and silver pretty much same casting just black and silver with the yellow uh, light detail in the front because I had a chance to get it when it was in the two pack but I already had kit so I'm like what I'm going to do with kit. I could have got it. I should have got it. I just gave that kit to uh, one of my nephews. Even though they don't collect cut die cast anymore. They play video games and more worried about clothes and shoes and stuff now. Or skateboarding. Next, like I said, I went to the Dollar Tree because AutoZone was a no-go. They had something else, a Tonka, but it the, they had like a dump dump truck, but the the whole scale was kind of off. It was it wasn't like this, which looks more one sixty four ish. The dump truck looked like it was off, kind of like one fifty or something like that, and, and the wheels just looked too big. To, to fit into what I usually do up here. So I picked up this from Dollar Tree. I don't know too much about this. Probably something that was manufactured overseas and distributed, yep, made in China. And I guess distributed by, uh, um, Canada company dag one of their addresses is nearby where I grew up in Chesapeake Virginia Green Bar International Wow I really just want these signs right here I think that's a stop I wish it said stop instead of that but I just want these signs right here I really want that speed limit sign so that's cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with these minis. Probably just pack them up. So that's cool. Little accessories like that kind of. And they had these Hot Wheels boxes. Which I already have one of these. I think I found a couple a week ago. I don't think it's a month yet probably is and I found one of these and I kept it and I used it to put my uh my customs in that I had got from my friend uh diecast clown rounded them up and put them all in there so you know take care of them so I don't drop them anymore um but they had this very this uh different cover so I, I got about four of them. So they only had these two st styles. And they're six car cases. I don't think Hot Wheels directly because I'm seeing this Tara toy group. And I guess they, they got the license for Hot Wheels to reproduce, I guess, their, uh, their logo. So this is pretty cool. I should have got all of them. But it would have been like 10, and I ain't have all that room, so you can't beat this for one. What is it, 125? Even under two dollars, you can't beat this. Next, we got some Hot Wheels main lines, and we're gonna get into that. We got the uh BMW M3 wagon from HW Modified. And it's pretty cool. Kind of disappointed they didn't do the headlights or the taillights. But it is what it is. So, 
It's new for 2024. I heard a lot about it, and I think they've done other cover variations by now, but it's the first time I've seen it, so. Got this 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. HW Reverse, and it rake. And it's pretty cool. I collect this casting. It's main line, no headlights or tail lights. It's just well executed. So, I'm able to get this, uh, I guess it's Hirohato, Hirohata Merc from Rod Squad. I have been seeing this around car kind of beat, but I have been resisting it. But, you know, I wonder, I'm going to do some research because I'm thinking. There he is. It's probably part of that wave when a lot of um, 50s and 60s cars or 50s and 70s cars were big in Japan during the 80s. Unfortunately, one of the biggest people who influenced that was the Yakuza, Japanese Mafia, because they pretty much could afford it. Most people could only afford like the little key cars, the little ones. Because gas, you know, gas prices and places to park. But usually the Yakuza, they had like the uh, American muscle cars. Or American vintage cars. American cars, period. Because they could afford to import them. New for 2024. And businessman. Like a wealthy businessman. Computer type people. You know tech gurus and stuff honda civic si from hw j imports headlights and taillights is done car kind of beat i probably didn't help but i collect this casting it's one of the best castings they ever made in my opinion I just wish they would do a Fast and the Furious. Go ahead and do that. It would be so, so cool using this casting. And somehow, I know what they're going to do. It'll probably be an RRC and they have ability to put that green glow on in these. If they're smart. This is a Jaguar Mark 1 from HW Race Day. I think the... the Take the headlights is done, so we gonna keep that, and we got a um, Nissan Skyline RS from HWJ Imports. Collect this casting. Tail headlights is done. Headlights are basically the windshield, but yeah, that's pretty cool. And then we got um, to put that in there. Oh, that can stay. We got a um, Porsche 911 Carrera RS 2.7. From Factory Fresh, I collect this cast and just found one in orange, I think. So this is pretty cool. I got one in red now. And this is definitely a new one for 2024. This is the Porsche 904 Carrera GT, G, GTS from HW Exotics. Look like a race car, it definitely look like a race car from the 80s. So, this was cool. No tail lights, though. And next, we got a uh. Volkswagen T2 pickup from 
HW Hot Hot Trucks. Yeah, HW Hot Trucks. Collect this cast in two. It's pretty cool. And last but not least, we went to Hobby Lobby. And we were able to pick up something that I forgot about. I think I knew it was out, but I just forgot about it. Because I probably didn't see it anywhere else. Everybody was probably scooping it up. Uh, saw this. Hot Wheels uh, Premium. Oh, this is Fast and the Furious. It's a Mercedes Benz 500 SEL. I love this body style, man. A lot of these Benzes. The big body Benzes, man. This definitely is from the late 90s. Before they switched out how they, how they, um, I guess how they issue them out. Because now, after the late 90s, the, the S, the letter, was before the number on their cars. So, this is definitely probably from 1994, 95, somewhere around there. And this is the one, the other that you can get. Only one I really care about. Well, I, the Porsche 911 Carrera RS 3.8 would be nice to have. But I want that uh, custom Acura Integra sedan. Because that's, I think, the character Mia's car from the first movie. So, that would be cool. So, next, uh, we were able to get this 1964 Chevrolet Impala convertible. From the Green Light California Lowrider series. Got how it's a 2024 too, and I got it because the top is down on this bad boy and it's gold with look like is that gold interior? Nah, uh, I can't see what it is. It's a kind of darker colored interior, but it's got the gold wheels on it. Even though I wish they were more metallic, but it works for me. Anytime I see one with the top down, I gotta have it. So, this was a pretty good haul. I want to thank the subscribers for always giving me, give it, excuse me, the views and the likes, supporting the channel. Random viewers, like I always say, this is not the best diecast channel. It's not the worst either. The model here is to show a little love for the diecast. I hope you decide to hit the subscription button, notification button, leave a like, or you feel like leave, leave a dislike behind. Uh, I love getting comments because feedback helps me with the channel, kind of motivates me too, you know. Um, what can I say? Like I, like I just said, my channel is about showing a little love for the diecast and nothing else to say except for this is show and tell one nine excuse me 194 and i want to thank you for sharing your time with me because there's so much content out there you could be watching anybody else with better production values better access to a more exclusive diecast and whatnot but i want to thank you for tuning in until the next time peace and blessings